Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of my Pipedrive training videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate LinkedIn with Pipedrive using a third party service called Surf. Now, I'm going to be really honest, I've actually struggled for a while when clients have asked me, Paul, what's the best way to integrate LinkedIn? There haven't really been great options out there that I've personally been able to vouch for until recently when I discovered Surf. Now, full disclosure, this is a paid promotion with Surf. Now, regular viewers of my YouTube channel know that I don't do paid promotions a lot. I will only promote a service if number one, I use the product and I can personally vouch for it. And number two, if I think it's a really good fit and relevant to my audience. So I'm gonna be giving you an introduction to Surf in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post your comments below. And if you would like help with Surf or setting up Pipedrive for your business, then click the link in the description below to learn more about our support options. To get started, the first thing you are gonna to want to do is go to surf.com and you can click here to get started for free and create your Surf account. Once signed up, you'll have access to your Surf dashboard where you can change account settings, give access to your team, access analytics and billing, but we actually don't need to touch any of this right now. I'm gonna come back and show you some of these settings later. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to head to the Chrome Web Store and we're going to download the Surf extension for Chrome, or I'm using it here in the Brave browser. So I'm going to go ahead and add to Brave now. Once I have the extension installed, Surf is going to take me to LinkedIn and I can go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to need to do is to connect my CRM of choice, which in this case is going to be Pipedrive. I'll then go through the authentication process to give Surf access to my Pipedrive account, and this is going to install the Surf app into my uh, into my Pipedrive account. And so there we go. Setting up Surf is super simple, takes no time at all. I've now connected Surf to my Pipedrive account, and I'm ready to go. So if I navigate to a profile in LinkedIn, like Patricia Cruz here, who works at Surf, I now have this box underneath their profile where I can do a couple of things. So firstly, I can add Patricia as a contact to my Pipedrive account. I could also choose to create a lead or a deal. So I'm gonna start by just creating a contact. So we're gonna click this button. And now I can actually make changes to this contact in Pipedrive directly from LinkedIn. So I can change the owner of this contact here. I can add labels from my Pipedrive account. I can also uh, confirm or change the organization that Patricia has been linked to. And in this case, actually, because Surf was already set up as an organization, Patricia has been linked to that company. And if I show you in Pipedrive, here is the contact that was just created in Pipedrive with, uh, with her title and linked to the Surf organization. So that's great. But as you can see, I'm missing a bit of information here. So I don't actually have Patricia's email or phone. But what I can do is I can click this magic finder icon. And what Surf is gonna do is it's gonna go out to a number of third-party data enrichment services. It's gonna try and find, uh, in this case, Patricia's email and phone number. So there we go. Surf was able to find Patricia's email. And if I go back to the contact in Pipedrive, without having to click anything, that email has now been added to the contact. I can also view my other Pipedrive custom fields right inside the profile of this LinkedIn contact. So if I go to the um, contact in Pipedrive and let's update the postal address and let's just say Lisbon. So there we go, I'm gonna add Lisbon, Portugal as the address. Now, if I come back to the profile in LinkedIn and edit these fields, I can pull in that address field. There we go, postal address. We're gonna save that. And once I reload the page, I can see that custom field from Pipedrive now appears on the profile here in LinkedIn. So this is a really nice way of just marrying the two databases together. I can see my information from Pipedrive natively here in LinkedIn. A couple of other useful things I can do here. Firstly, I can click here to create a note on this contact. So I'm gonna give this note a new name. So new, let's just call it new note for now. And I'll just put in some dummy text. And once I'm happy with this note, I can just close this window. And if I go back to Pipedrive, I can see that note has been added to the contact in Pipedrive. If I come back to LinkedIn, I can also click this button to create tasks or activities in Pipedrive. So maybe I want to create an activity to uh, reach out, maybe send an email or call Patricia. So I'm just gonna say call new lead. You can see this activity is being linked with the uh, connected contact in Pipedrive. 
I can set the due date, so maybe I'm gonna do this uh, tomorrow, and I can set a time if I wish. I can set the status, so if I've already done this, I might mark this as done immediately, but I'm gonna leave this as to do. I can assign this activity to somebody on my team, but I'm just gonna leave it assigned to me. And then I can put in a comment, so I can say reach out to discuss partnership. And now I'm going to create that activity, and let's head on over to Pipedrive, and you can see before I can even get there, that activity has now been created. And the other thing we can do from this profile is if I go to this deals tab here, I can create a brand new deal if I want to create uh, a deal or a sales opportunity so I can start reaching out to this person. I can either link this profile to an existing deal that I already have in progress, or I can create a brand new deal. So I'm gonna choose my pipeline. I'm gonna choose the sponsorship and speaking pipeline. And now Surf is gonna create a deal with Patricia as the primary contact. So there we go. I can see the deal created here. I can even see my pipeline stages. I can set the value of the deal. Let's just say, I don't know, $5,000. And if I go back to Pipedrive, you can see the deal has been created on this contact. So I'll open that now. And if I fill in any important information here, maybe the deal source I could say was LinkedIn. Uh, maybe I put in the project brief. I'll just put in some dummy text again. So once I make changes to the deal here in Pipedrive, this will reflect back in Surf. So if I refresh the page there, I can see the deal stage has changed and I can also bring in custom fields uh, like you saw me do before. So I could bring in deal source and uh, let's bring in uh, that project brief as well. Here we go and click save. And this allows me to see all that information that I'm capturing in Pipedrive natively here in LinkedIn. So if you are the kind of salesperson that gets a lot of their leads from LinkedIn, if you're spending time prospecting potential leads for your business and you want to easily get those into Pipedrive, there really is no better alternative than Surf. It makes it super easy to create those contacts, create a brand new deal, sync your notes and activities so you really can stay in LinkedIn but push all that valuable information over to your CRM. Now, one of the questions clients have been asking me for a while is, Paul, if I'm messaging a contact in LinkedIn, how can I get that to show back in Pipedrive? And as I said at the beginning, I haven't really had a good answer to this, but fortunately now with Surf, we can easily sync LinkedIn message conversations into Pipedrive. So let's say I want to now reach out to Patricia to see if she would be a good fit for my services. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new message. And if you give Surf a second, it's gonna pop up a couple of buttons on the message interface. Firstly, at the top here, I can easily add or change the labels from Pipedrive uh, that I can apply to this contact. And down here, you'll notice a little templates area where I can use message templates to message Patricia. Uh, I'll use that in a sec. First thing I'm gonna do is just break the ice. I'm gonna say, hi, Patricia. So I've got my message ready to go and I can click send. So that's now sent the message to Patricia. Now, if I have information or a message that I use time and time again, I can set up templates down here. So you can see I've got one here called book an intro call. And I've got some text here that I'm gonna share with my Calendly link. And what's really cool is I can link this template to a shortcut. So if you, if you see down here, if I type a slash and then the word intro, I can then spit out this template. So if I go intro like that, I can now send that message to Patricia. And so I can keep those templates in my account for myself and for my team to use for sharing our booking links or sharing information about my service. Now, once I'm done with my chat, I've sent my initial, initial message or Patricia and I have had a back and forth, I can then click here to sync this chat with Pipedrive. Now, if I go to Pipedrive, I can see there's this new activity here for the LinkedIn conversation that we've had, and I can see the messages that have been exchanged. So number one, this is a really useful way of me collecting all the information about this contact, the notes, activities, and conversations that we've had in one place. Also very useful if somebody else on my sales team takes over from this lead later on, maybe I hand this lead over to a closer, or if I'm not available, another sales rep takes over, they can look back and see the conversations that I've had with Patricia. The other really useful feature of Surf that I want to show you is if I use the LinkedIn Sales Navigator for prospecting and finding leads, I can go to one of my lead lists and if I select these leads in this particular list here, I now have this option to export to CRM and I can either create contacts for all these people or add them all as leads. 
Surf is now gonna grab these details from Net Sales Navigator and it's gonna add leads to my lead inbox. So we'll give that a second. So once that's done, if I go to my lead inbox in Pipedrive now, I can see here are the leads that I've just added from Sales Navigator. So I don't have to worry about exporting a CSV file from Sales Navigator, formatting it, uploading it to Pipedrive. Surf has just done all of that for me and saved me a ton of time. Now, before I wrap up, I just want to show you a couple of settings in your Surf dashboard, so don't go anywhere. So if I go down to the field mapping settings here, this is where I can specify what fields in LinkedIn map to what custom fields in Pipedrive. So you can see some of this has been done for me, like email is mapped to email, pretty obvious. I've also chosen to map the job title field in LinkedIn to the custom field called job title in Pipedrive. If I, uh, let's say personal website, this is a piece of information in, um, in LinkedIn, I can choose to map that to one of my fields here if I wanted to. I don't have one, but I could, I could create that. Maybe actually Twitter profile, I could link that to maybe instant messenger. So I can customize the field mapping for my contacts, my leads, and for your company or organization details. From the team tab here, this is where I can invite, invite other users from my Pipedrive account to Surf. If I want to start having them using these features, I can click the invite options here. On the analytics tab, I can access, uh, I can see which templates are performing the best and, and, and getting the best results. And finally, in terms of pricing, the features that I've shown you today would require this professional plan here, which is $29 per user per month. This plan is gonna give you 100 email finder credits. So earlier you saw how we could use the um, third-party databases to find missing email addresses. So I get 100 credits to do that. I can also sync lists from my sales navigator and auto sync my messages. So for me and for most people, this is going to be the subscription to get. So if LinkedIn is an important tool in your sales process, if that's where you're going to find prospects, to nurture and make contact, and if you're using Pipedrive, then I highly recommend you sign up for a trial of Surf and give it a go. As I said, until discovering Surf, I really didn't have a great way of integrating the two systems together, and Surf just makes all of that super easy. As mentioned, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.